So, Joe, congratulations. Today you. was your gradu graduation day from uh, a 12-week think program. Mm -hmm. So why did you why did you look at learning RX? What was Well, before I came here, uh, I used to take pride in being able to manage the chaos. That was always my badge of honor is that, oh boy, my life is chaotic and I can I can ride that wave. And then the uh, thought struck me that maybe I could make it a little less chaotic. Um, and that's hard to do because you take a lot of pride in something and you realize maybe it isn't the best way to do it. Well, what am I going to be proud of then afterwards? But uh, uh, it was it was a lot of chaos, and I, I used to take pride in being able to manage through the chaos. And then life got more complex? No, actually it didn't. It actually became easier to sort through, and uh, it became uh, more linear and actually you know more enjoyable, but not less rewarding. So, yes. you know, I was taking credit for something that really wasn't a credit. Yes. So, uh, so before, what were some very practical things that were difficult for you, for you? You had mentioned. Well, I couldn't remember names, names. very well. It, uh, two or three, it would take two or three meetings for me to remember names. Um, and believe me, I came up with a lot of creative ways around stuff like that. Um, the uh, staying on point during discussions, things like that were always difficult because I would follow the verbal realities of a conversation down the eddies and currents that usually yeah. befall any conversation. It's, you know, like a, a cocker spaniel will see something shiny and go, oh, and you go follow that off and you'll miss, you know, the finishing a conversation. Yeah. And so you came, you did an assessment. What did that reveal to you? It showed me that I had processing issues, that yeah. I thought I had memory issues, but the problem was not the memory, it was the processing that got it to the memory, which actually, if you think about it, in terms of a computer, would make sense if you have a if you yeah. have a little RAM and a very small old processor, it doesn't matter how much how many terabytes you have of memory, it's not gonna get there. So. Yeah. So you began to work with Miss Kathy. Yes, Kathy was my trainer. And uh, the only way I can really describe it is if your mind is a person and that person goes to Marine Corps boot camp at Camp Lejeune. Although Kathy doesn't yell nearly as much as R. Lee Ermey uh, usually yelled when he plays a drill sergeant. But uh, it really is like boot camp uh, for your brain. And uh, you came three times a week, hour and a half? A hour and a half each, uh, each. and uh, there was no no hiding from things I didn't do well, uh, which would have been my choice, but uh, Kathy would usually jump right into the things I didn't do well and force me to do them over and over again, and she was very good at never telling me how, how much improvement I was making because uh, maybe she just knew that I was you know, the she kind of person yeah, that yeah. would say, hey, I've done good enough. Let me pat myself on the back. Um, so she would never tell me that I had made improvements. Um, she would just go on to the next level. Yeah. And so we come to the end of 12 weeks. And what's different for you now? As I said, the, uh, the sorting through my life, the chaos is gone. Uh, I found that I don't need to take credit for managing through the chaos. I can actually move forward a lot easier. It, it was always a challenge to get ahead of the game, as it were, um, in my business life and personal life. You know, it's always thinking ahead now instead of just trying to stay on the wave. I'm looking.